Hi, I'm Nana Gill and I want to be a superhero. And this week I'm working on building my superhero super suit. Because every superhero needs an outfit and I want mine to do super amazing things. With all of the different superpower tools that we have been inventing, we are going to need to think of ways to carry them. So on our missions, they're there when we need them. I think my super suit should have a super utility belt. That way I can carry lots of gadgets with me. My utility belt will need to be able to hold and hang items in the name of freedom and justice and cookies. Mm, cookies. Actually, that's a really important design consideration. I will need a cookie pouch. No, two cookie pouches. One obviously for emergencies. Cookies. Oh, come on, no, no, focus. Right, in addition to my cookie belt, I'm going to need to build a special utility belt tool. Hmm. I know. Why don't we invent a cannon? <laughs> no, not that sort of cannon. What about a special celebration cannon? So we can celebrate the triumph of good over evil and also celebrate when cookies come out of the oven. For this experiment, you will need thick card, tape, balloon, paper clips, foil, cardboard tube, ruler, wooden skewer, pencil, string, elastic band, and some scissors. First, the utility belt. You're gonna wrap a length of string around your waist to figure out how long your utility belt needs to be. Now you're gonna make sure that the string wraps around your waist and then has a little bit extra, maybe 10 centimeters length than that. So I'm gonna see Here's my waist, and then I'll go about 10 centimeters more. This one is the right length for me. Now you're gonna to need to tape strips of thick cardboard together to make the same length of cardboard as your string. Now you can make your belt as wide as you like. I'm gonna make mine eight centimeters wide. So I'm gonna make some eight centimeter rectangles and then tape them all together. Okay, so I've got my rectangles. Now I want to tape them together like so. Okay, so here are my strips. I'm just gonna try on my belt and make sure it fits. Perfect. Next, we're gonna need to make a buckle. So we're gonna start by drawing a square on our cardboard, which is as wide as our belt. So we know our belt is eight centimeters wide. I'm gonna draw an eight centimeter by eight centimeter square and make sure you do this in the middle of your card. Now you want to draw lines that run two centimeters outside of your square that are also parallel. So you've got a small square in the middle, we're gonna cut that bit out, and then a bigger square, which we're also gonna cut out. Okay, there you go, this is our belt buckle. Now you can decorate it if you like, but I'm gonna leave mine plain. Next, you're gonna take your skewer and cut a 12 centimeter length from it. Try and do the non-pointy end. Remember how we do this? We're gonna score and snap like that. Okay, lay this over the buckle in the middle so that the ends of the skewer line up with the outside of the buckle like this. And then we're gonna tape it in place. Now we need to attach this buckle to our belt. So take one of your ends of your belt and tape your buckle on. Okay, and there you have it, my utility belt. And this slides into here like that. Next, we're going to need our confetti cannon. So take the end of a balloon and cut it off right at the neck here. Now you're gonna take the wide end and you're gonna stretch it over the end of your tube, like this. You're gonna make sure there's still a little bit left over here that you can pull. Now you're gonna secure it in place with some tape. Okay, so this bit is our celebration mechanism. But now we need a lid to keep our confetti in place. Now you're gonna take your tube and use it to draw a circle on a piece of card like this. And then on one side of it, you want to draw a tab that is one centimeter wide and three centimeters long. And then you're gonna cut this shape out. Okay, now we're gonna use a skewer to poke a small hole in the circle, close to the edge and opposite to where the cardboard tab is. Now, we're gonna put this on top of our tube here and we're gonna bend our tab over like this to make a hinge and we're gonna tape this tab in place. Now take your elastic band and thread it through your hole in the top. You might need a skewer to help you. And then put one end of the band through the other end and pull to make a little knot. 
Now take your paper clip and you're going to open the middle outwards so that it separates like this. And then we're going to make a latch to keep our cannon lid closed. So you're going to find the place where you can hook your elastic band on. You're going to need to bend your paper clip open and then make a little hook. And then have the middle bit or the inside of your paper clip at the top and position it so that you can hook your elastic band over it and it's going to stay closed. So mine's going to be about here and take your paper clip in place. Now I'm going to need to create a little loop so I can hang it from my utility belt. So I'm just going to take a short length of string, about eight centimeters. We're going to take our string and we're going to tape it onto the back of our confetti cannon so that it makes a little loop. Okay, so you can see I've made a little loop with my string here that we can hang our confetti cannon from. So I need to figure out where I'm going to put it on my utility belt and I'm right-handed, so I'm going to want it somewhere around here. I'm going to make a little park there. That's where it's going to hook on. Now, I just need to find another paper clip and create another hook by opening out the middle like this and then turning this upwards like that and I'm going to take that in place there. Perfect. And that should sit like that, ready for action. Now we need to fill it with some confetti. And you can use whatever you like, but I'm going to make some with some recycled leftover foil. So just tear off little pieces and then scrunch them up into a little ball and then pop them into your confetti cannon. When you've got as much as you want in there, close the lid and make sure that the latch is closed over the hook too so that it's ready for the time when you're going to make your grand superhero entrance and if that involves turning upside down, your confetti is going to be safe. Now for the moment of truth. The very first test of my superhero confetti cannon and to help me test it out, I need my tiny daredevil nano nano girl. Okay, Nano Nano Girl, have you ever been to the circus before? Yes. And have you ever seen somebody shot out of a cannon before? No? <laughs> well, do I have a treat for you. Would you like to try it today? Or do we want the payment? I'll give you one cookie. She says two cookies. What do you think? Okay, two cookies. My final offer. She says she wants more. How about two cookies and your own luxury nano pouch on my new utility belt? It's far nicer than sitting in my pocket all day. She says yes. It's a deal. Okay, in you go. Do, 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 do. Don't worry. Perfect. Right, now I need to put my utility belt on. Very good. I'm going to hook you over here. I'm going to seal you in. Look at this. This is perfect. Now, here we go. Nano Nano Girl, are you ready to be fired from our confetti cannon? unhook off my utility belt and what we're going to do is we're going to pinch the balloon at the bottom and when we pull down it's going to create elastic potential energy and yep you know what happens next the kinetic energy is going to fire in three two one uh-oh where did she go did anybody see where anybody see where she went no 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 girl well, she really is a daredevil. Uh, I might need to get her more than two cookies. We'll see, uh, we'll see. Maybe I'll make her, her pouch, a, a penthouse pouch. I hope we're still friends after this. No, 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 girl. Where are you? Hello? Where did you go? 